in this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make characters in Midjourney. Now, this character you're seeing on the screen was created using Little Gray Wolf character, illustration book, watercolor, only face. This is a good prompt, but if you're making characters for an illustration book, we need a full body character. Let's go ahead and start a new Midi Journey prompt slash imagine, and then start describing your character. In this case, I'm creating a little gray wolf. Now we want Mid Journey to generate multiple characters. So I'm going to type character sheet. Then we're going to type nine by nine character in different poses. Now you want to start adding details of your character. Red scarf, gray boots, yellow jacket, long tail. Now this is optional, but I'm just going to experiment. Holding a flower. To be more specific, holding a rose. Now I'm going to add illustration book style, watercolor, and that's pretty much it for now. So let's hit enter and generate this initial character. So from this point on, when you get some initial characters going on, you can upscale or regenerate the images until you see the character that you like and want to use in your illustration book as the main character. Now, it seems like there's a good example here. So I'm going to use this character sheet to make my character. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is create a variation of the, that character sheet I just showed you. And when you do that, you'll get four sheets with a uniform character. So there's even more poses and variations to choose from, but they look more alike to each other in all four generated images. Now just continue generating images and creating variations until you have your perfect character. Now open your favorite character sheet that you've generated, right click and copy image. Then go to Photoshop, paste that image here. Now select the initial version of your favorite character. Press Ctrl C or Ctrl X. Go back to mid journey and paste that into the chat. Now continue doing this for every character that looks more or less similar to your original vision. Okay. So go back to Photoshop, paste, cut out the character, go back to mid journey, paste it into the same chat. And again, just do that same thing for all of the characters that kind of look similar to one another. So by doing this, you're creating an initial set of references. You're going to use these same references to increase chance of consistency for all of your characters. You're going to generate again. Now click on each image and paste it into the chat. So I'm going to go to the second image, copy image address, separate them by space. Okay, here I have all of my images in a row separated by space. I'm going to select all of them and start a new prompt. Now paste all of these URLs into the prompt as a leading image. Go back to original prompt, select the prompt itself and paste it after all of those images. Now remember how we had character sheet nine by nine characters in different poses, select all of that and replace it by running or any other action. But in this example, I'm going to make the character run, generate that prompt. And here you will see the character kind of running, but it's more like walking. So we need to increase the quality of that action. So let's go to Google type running animation sheet and find the most generic running animation right click, go to copy image address. Now let's go back to mid journey, start a new prompt, paste that running sheet into the prompt, copy this prompt that we just previously generated with the running keyword, paste it after the running sheet from Google and generate it. As you can see, this dramatically increases the action of the characters. You can actually see that he's running and not just walking or some obscure action. So I'm going to take this image and copy image and bring it back into Photoshop paste. I'm going to rescale it a bit. Now I'm going to use a black background and just isolate this character. 
Now, go back to mid journey, start a new prompt, and I'm going to make a background for the illustration book. So I'm going to say illustration book style, watercolor, middle road or something like that with a path through the forest. Basically, I ended up generating this image. So I'm going to copy it into Photoshop behind my character, move my character to make it seem like it's running on the path, decrease saturation of the background to bring the character forward. Now in Illustrator, I'm going to type the title of my book in big bold letters. So I'm going to select this font and I'm going to give it some kind of a generic title. Of course, this is just an example. Now select the font and press Control Shift O. Control Shift O will turn your text into a vector. Now go to Object, go to Envelope Distort and select Make with Warp. This is going to add an arc to the text, making it look more interesting. You can use other warp effects if you want. Now let's go back to Photoshop. Just paste that image you just created. You don't even need to save it as a file. Paste it into Photoshop, invert colors, cut it out like it's a header, place it on top of the book, change the colors to anything you want. And once you publish this, you can put the barcode. Now I'm going to change the header color once again, and that looks good to me. Okay, guys, and that's pretty much the workflow for creating characters for your illustration book and making a book cover and inserting your character into different environments.